Senator Mike Sinicholas has introduced the first piece of legislation for 2016. His bill prioritizes tax refunds and vendor payments. Here's more. Senator Mike Sinicholas has introduced the first bill of the new year with Bill 228. The measure would ensure that tax refunds are fully funded and that vendors are paid on time before any additional revenue is appropriated anywhere else. When we passed the budget back in October for FY 2016, uh, the governor's numbers were $60 million higher than what we actually passed on our own. Mm -hmm. And so what we wanted to do was make sure that we were conservative with our budgeting back in October. Mm -hmm. But if it looks like we're going to have more money going into the rest of the year, we want to make sure that that extra money goes to pay refunds and goes to pay our vendors because they're the ones who've been waiting chronically for years. Uh, waiting to the last minute to get their payments. The senator says that over $21 million is owed to GMH vendors, over $6 million owed to DOE vendors, and there are still outstanding balances due to the Government of Guam Retirement Fund and, quote, many other vendors. Senator Sinicola says that in the past they've seen revenues come in that were supposed to be deposited in the Income Tax Refunds Trust account but weren't deposited there. We want to make sure that any additional revenue, not just what's supposed to go into that account, but anything else that's coming into any other special fund or into the general fund uh, is specifically earmarked for that purpose. The senator says Bill 228 also prevents other senators from introducing bills that spend this additional money on pet projects until tax refunds and vendors are paid. It tells all the other senators that you cannot introduce any other appropriations bills unless it's to pay tax refunds or to pay our vendors. That way we clear that priority as the primary um, uh, hurdle for our government to, to get to. We don't want uh, senators coming out saying, hey, we have an extra, um, we have extra money for this, or we have extra money for that. There is no extra money until tax refunds are paid within 30 days and vendors are paid within 30 days. So Nicholas points out that the last fiscal year, tax refund filers who filed up to February 11th did not receive their refunds until May, while most of who filed on time, but after February 11th, had to wait until the last week of September. Meanwhile, the senator says income tax refunds in the states get paid in a month or less, while the Guam tax filers have to wait anywhere from three to six months. The senator also points out that the Calvo administration continues to challenge the court order to pay refunds in six months. In fact, they recently appealed the U.S. District Court decision to the U.S. Supreme Court in December. 